Hi everyone, I'm just on my way down to Friends Animal Sanctuary. I'm in the bathroom. Um, I'm really excited to go see the animals. I've never been to an animal sanctuary before, so I'm excited to see what it brings. Plus, I'm camping out. Look, I've got my four man tent, my book. I forgot my torch, that's fine. Um, I've got my wellies on, I've got sleeping bags, I've got my bag, so I'm ready to go. I'm a vegan through compassion, and because of compassion, it's easy for me to stay vegan, but I've never really gone out to a farm and, you know, just kind of hung out with animals. I just know that animals need to be treated as other beings, but I haven't really made that, I don't know, that one-to-one -one connection with an animal. But, you know, I don't feel like I need to have that connection in order to know that you know, animals have rights. But I think the other thing for me is the fact that I don't believe in pets. I don't believe in ownership of animals and animals are not property. And I think that's where a lot of these issues come from. The fact that people do think that animals are property and that's when they start to abuse them and treat them like, you know, their own. And it's, it's you know, it's horrific, but I kind of veer away from things like farms usually because, you know, however well animals are being treated, there's a, there's a sense of property there. There's a sense of, you know, these animals belong on this farm, we own these animals or we look after these animals, but can the animals leave if they want to? That's usually not something that people are willing to address, you know, vegans included. So it's really important for me to go out there and see how these animals are, you know, living and being looked after and taken care of and completely understand that they've been rescued from horrific situations and they probably can't survive on their own, um, as well as a lot of other domesticated pets and, you know, cats, dogs, animals, stuff like that. A lot of people do say to me, well, you know, if I don't look after them, they're going to die. And it's like, well, the reason they would die is because they've been domesticated, it's because people have been treating them as property and, you know, keeping them. So. <laughs> camera to camera. Get them up. Cows, cows, and the cows are like. Oh, this is perfect. You're right. <laughs> How gentle they are. <laughs> Hello, Piggy. Do you, would you like an apple? <laughs> Don't drop it. Yum. You are the cutest pig ever. Not you. <laughs> oh, look at that face. It looks so angry. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> That's us. Any of these men? No. Probably like one man in each section. Like this. Yeah. They're always a minority in the vegan community. <laughs> <laughs> Vegans in their natural habitat. <laughs> See you later. Oh my god, why is he like... Oh my god, he's running over for dates. <laughs> Oh, well, I have a Dalek. Oh, she snot on you. Yeah. <laughs> is that what you think of me? Is it? Uh, I just 
spit on you. Do you need any help? Yeah, do you need any yeah, help? I think out of all of the groups that they've had come down here from London, that this is the most I've ever had. Really? I'm gonna throw it blind with the loads of your head. <laughs> I feel like you're just throwing it at me now. <laughs> that one more. Here I am, just kind of helping out. Walking in. We're getting behind the scenes of Banana Warrior Princess. <laughs> Okay, we better quick. go for it. This is Faith Sphinx Ara on YouTube. Hi. Link in the description. I'm asking everyone today, how long have you been vegan? Down there, there and spread the message. Oh, not here again. Hi, Emma. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, so this is. Does she not look like a Dalek with this on her head? Can you stop telling people that? Very good eyes. Break it. <gasps> no, 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 so I'm heading out. I had such an amazing time. I, I met some amazing people. I, you know, I met Mark, who runs this place with his wife, um, who unfortunately is in the hospital at the moment, but hopefully she'll get better soon. And also I've met Meg, who helps out quite a bit here. I also met very excited about that. I'm just going to go grab my box of dates and my little four-man tent that I didn't even really use, so that's annoying. That's definitely not fun. Thank you so much for having me. No, my pleasure.